What is up guys, I'm Glacio, and today I'll be doing some more The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, uh, we... I think, yeah, we defeated the Divine Beast Varuta, or I mean, we didn't defeat the Divine Beast, we defeated uh, Water Blight Ganon, and we freed the Divine Beast. And uh, today... We'll be making our way towards the next Divine Beast and, uh, you know, doing that stuff. Because we have, we have to, yeah. So, uh, this is, I think, the hardest tower, uh, the tower that's hardest to unlock just because of the security it's been given. I guess Ganon really didn't want want us to get this tower. Uh, so, or doesn't. This tower has, uh, first of all, not, fl it's not, these are not flying scouts. These are actual flying guardians, like full on guardians. Uh, very deadly. You can't really run away, take cover or defend yourself because they are flying. Uh, and yeah, this tower is just a big pain in the ass. The Akala Citadel Ruins Tower. Uh, but it's really, it's worth getting. So we, we are going to do it. If we can climb this, uh... this uh, mountain and of course we can so the next divine beast we'll be doing is uh, Varudania which is the second hardest boss which is fine I just want to do the hardest one last uh, you might be wondering why I'm not doing you know why I'm not doing the easiest one now and then the second hardest and then the hardest and the answer is I mean this one is so much closer it just makes more sense and I can defeat him easily I think and here we are so yeah as you can see a bunch of ooze lying around which we cannot touch goodbye Oh, rusty shield. Okay, that's that's not very useful. And that's a rusty broadsword, it looks like. Oh my god, ew. Oh wow, that really does some damage. So yeah, the, the yellow hearts, they just disappear when you take damage. It's not recoverable. Oh, five bomb arrows. Okay, I can use those. Actually, let's use one right now. Hey, dude. Boom! I guess I'm gonna have to go over there. Oh, God, he has ice arrows. Uh, you know what? Oh, my God, I suck. I'm just gonna run away. I did not mean to do a jump slam, but apparently that's what Link decided to do. Oh god. S stay away, please. Oh, I can... I can use the Guardian Spear on him. Got a Knight's Broadsword. That's... Fine, now how should we go about this? That's what I want to know. Maybe, yeah, we have to climb this arc. The archway, and then jump onto the tower. Oh god, this is all- oh my god, it's all covered in ooze. Okay. There we go. Oh, come on, Link. Jeez. Don't be doing that stuff. That's not what we want to do. Oh, come on, dude. 
fucking hell. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, no, don't fall off. No! <sighs> I'm wondering if this is the right way to do this. It's the only one I can currently think of. Okay, just take it easy. Nice and... Okay. And then... Okay, beautiful. That should do it. Unless there is, there's ooze, like, on top of the thing, and I don't see any, so I think we're pretty much alright. We're set to get the tower. There's a bunch of shrines uh, in the vicinity, so I do want to claim those. Okay, nice and slow. Nice and easy. Oh, well, I'm actually getting cold damage up here, so we better hurry. Uh, we don't have cold resistant armor yet, so we can't really protect ourselves against this. We don't have any potions either, so... Beautiful. And the map, please. So yeah, this is still not the region where the Divine Beast is in, uh, but it's a neighboring region, so it's still pretty useful. Okay, so we wanna, oh, I don't know if I wanna go. I'm not sure which shrine I wanna go for here. Guess that one. Now, yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's here, it's close. Oh, that's a stable. Cool. Okay, we can go check that out, too. Yeah, I guess we can do this. Easy. Uh, because I really want another health upgrade. Okay, let's do it. Perfect guard. Just at the right moment to counterattack. Okay. We know that. We've trained for it. The Z Kosho apparatus. Oh, okay, I see. So yeah, okay, that's fine. I love the gyro control puzzles. Ah, uh, what is uh, this? Oh, okay, okay. I get it. And then I have to... Uh... Boom. And then we go again. Okay, that was pretty simple. Oh, okay. This looks like the final challenge. Oh no. Okay, hang on. I remember this actually. This is kind of a pain in the ass to do. So, like... Oh, I don't know. Oh no. 
Okay, hang on. I need to get at least like one of these in. So get this one in. No. Oh, so close. Okay, that'll do. And now these should be kind of stuck, hopefully. Okay. That wasn't so difficult. And that's uh, the shrine. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. Give me my uh, spirit orb, please. I'd be very grateful. If you could... Oh, God. Uh, I'm, I am a bit sleepy. It is... 9 a.m. on a beautiful Saturday. So I'm feeling a bit tired. Anyway. Okay, let's keep let's check out this stable. This is the first stable we've encountered. I think, at least. The South Akala stable. Oh yeah, okay. I mean, this is not going to be worth much because I don't have a horse, but essentially if you did have a horse, you could just uh call him at the stable. So yeah, but I don't have one, so it is kind of useless now. Yeah, but we have it on the map, so if we ever need somewhere to pick up a horse in this region. Oh, Spring of Power. Oh, yeah, that's right. The three springs, Wisdom, Power, and Courage. Nah, uh, but that was a side quest, uh, not main quest, so... Or shrine quests, to be perfectly... exact. Like I said, any extra stuff after the main story... I will do if I feel like it, I won't force myself to do it. Ooh, spiked moblin club. Oh. Well, I mean, I guess I have a pretty good set of weapons. I don't want to deal with that guy. So if we could get one more tower in this episode, we'll maybe even make it to the city, to the town where we need to go, I would be very, very happy. We'll usually always have one episode like this when in which we're going to the place we need to be. Now that's always going to be kind of boring, but... So we have a shrine down there, and we have a shrine- Oh, there's another stable. Okay, I guess I'll go over there. I mean, I'm kind of forced to pick, because going down there, and then getting back up onto the hill, and traveling all the way to the other shrine is going to be a really long walk. So, I guess, I mean, we don't have to get every single shrine we see. But I will complete this one, hopefully. Uh, because it's really conveniently just along the way. I might actually go just for heart upgrades now, not stamina. Because I need a total of 13 uh, hearts to complete a certain quest later in the game, a main quest, so I might just... I mean, I'm not really lacking on stamina. I have enough stamina for most of my activities, so... Yeah, I don't know. And we can always brew up some stamina potions if we... Metal makes a path. Oh, I think this one's pretty simple. I don't remember it being too difficult. 
Oh no! Damn. Okay, you stop it right there. So it's really, like, self-explanatory in the name Metal Makes a Path. You grab the ball and you make a path. And you're done. And a bunch of big balls around. There we go. Really simple, real easy. Not a very puzzling shrine, I'd say. Ugh. <sighs> Sorry for yawning, I'm just I can't I can't help it. It's Yeah. So we have five spirit orbs. That that's really good. I know there's gonna be another shrine in uh, the place we're going to, because there's always a shri shrine in Oh there we go, that's uh, the tower which we need. Foothill Stable. Now, I think if you talk to somebody, I think her. Hi. Oh, uh, that's right. Uh. Really? Uh, yes, I am. Uh. I think she gives me, uh. Mm. Yeah, potions. Fireproof elixirs. I'll take, uh, I'll take three. So, as you venture into the Elden region, uh, the air around you will start to get hot. And you'll need uh, fire fire protection. So, um, usually only one layer of fire protection is enough to cover you when the air is hot and everything. Uh, but if you get really close to lava, then you need two layers, so either uh, a potion or a piece of clothing or two pieces of clothing with fire protection. You can't drink two potions, I don't think they the effects stack up. But for now, uh, as we venture into the Elden region, only one layer of fire protection will be enough. More of Death Mountain. Oh my god. Also, it's really cool, um, so, uh, you know, we have all these different effects, you have, uh, sh uh, electricity, shock, you have cold, you have fire, and, of course, you can find protection from all these effects. Uh, there's actually, uh, heat and fire are two di different, uh, effects in this game, so, Fire protection will not protect you from heat. And, uh... I mean, vice versa, obviously. Okay, we don't want the arm, but we do want the bow. So, yeah, keep that in mind. I think... I don't know what else there is. There's fire. There's cold. There's heat. There's shock. Uh, also, a very big point. Do not try to shoot bomb arrows in the Elden region because they will blow up in your own face. They will explode as soon as you loose the arrow. And then you, you're done. God, I can't hit that freaking keys, dude. Oh my god. Keys. Oh, fire keys. I hate hate these guys. And as you can see, Ruta, uh, I mean, Mifa's blessing is recharging. It's about ha halfway there already. And hopefully, it'll re recharge fully by the time we get to uh, Goron City. So, we'll have that going for us. Unfortunately, there's no way for you to not use, uh... Is 
Is it Mipha's blessing? I don't know what what it's called. I know all the other ones. There's uh, I'm not gonna spoil it now, but Mipha's. I think it's Mipha's grace. It's Mipha's grace, right? So yeah, if you die, it automatically just uses it. I think you can. Oh wait, no, I might be wrong. I think you actually can uh, unequip it to make it so it's not an active power, so you don't waste it on, uh, I don't know, uh, Moblin or something like that. Because if you're saving it for a boss and you'd rather just die and restart at the checkpoint than being revived, I think you can actually unequip it. I might be wrong uh, when I said there's no way for you not to use it. I think. If it's equipped, then they will use it automatically, obviously. Uh, but I think you can disable the power, so... And then save it up for... Special Encounter. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, I, I have enough stamina for all my needs right now, so... I don't see the need to, uh... Upgrade it, really. Now, the first thing we need to do when we get to Goron City is buy the fire-resistant armor, because these... Elixirs, they're not gonna last me long enough to complete the entire quest and the Divine Beast and everything. Okay. Cool. We made it. Give me those, uh, maps, please. And there's Ruta in the background with her red laser. Okay, awesome. We did it. Boom. Whoa, that's a big region. So yeah, that is uh, Death Mountain. And yeah, I think as soon as we jump here, the fire effects will start uh, to... Yup, there we go. Uh, I need... And also don't have any uh, wooden items equipped. Because they will burn. Okay, thank you. And we're good. So this is only one layer of protection. If you get really close to the lava, you're gonna need two layers. Now, unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna have enough cash to buy two layers of armor. I think we may just have enough for one. So, we're gonna have to be, I mean, I don't think you really need the second layer until you reach uh, the Divine Beast, so... And then we can use potions, so we might not need the second piece of armor. But we definitely need the first one because we can't even be here without at least one layer of fire protection. What are you? Oh, Flint. Cool. Alright, you fucker, come here. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Ooh, try boomerang. Can't carry any more melee weapons. Uh, well, I am sorry. Zora Spear and Torch. I'm gonna have to say goodbye. Now, this is a shield. A steel Lysol shield. Oh, that's too good to pass up. 
Oh, I can drop the rusty shield, I guess. And what's this? Topaz. Okay, that's worth something, probably. Yeah, that guy dropped some great loot, actually. Level 35, 36 stuff. Okay, Flame Guard is still holding. Oh, these are the mines. I think the southern mine. We can find some valuables here, which we can sell for rupees. Uh, rock salt, I don't know what that's worth. Amber, I think, is worth... Um... Oh, sledgehammer. I'll take it. Amber's worth, uh, like, 30 rupees, I'd say, maybe. Oh, we got some more stuff over there. Amber, rock salt. Thank you. Oh, that's a lizard. Oh, come on. No. I want it. Oh, these guys are like sing like those Fortuna guys. I mean, it's not the same tune, but you know, singing while working. Okay, we're almost, almost there. Now, I'm afraid this is where the second layer of protection might be necessary. I don't, no, I think it's actually just if you get close to the volcano. As you get closer, you'll need more protection. Because we uh, we don't have to worry about that right now because, you know, as per usual, we'll have to do a little mini quest before we can actually get to the Divine Beast, so yeah, we can worry about that when we come to that bridge. Okay, almost there, come on. Yes. Awesome. I'm not even sure why I took this path. It just seemed like a great shortcut. We could have gone with the main road. Uh, oh my god, what the hell? Oh jeez. Oh my god. Okay, that was interesting. That was the volcano, probably. Jesus. Why is the paraglider burning up, though? Seems like it should. And here we are, Goron City. We've made it. Boom. And uh, this is our next objective. So, guys, this is Divine Beast uh, Varudania. She's a lizard. And. Yeah, she's not too easy to get to because of all the lava, but I think we can do it. Yeah, boarding her, oh my god, boarding her is such a freaking process, you have no idea. It's, she's much harder to board than, uh... router uh but anyway yeah we, we're not gonna be doing that this episode probably not even next episode uh but the episode after that 
we've just only made it here. So, okay, let's sell our goods. That's 180. Good. Ah, uh, rocks. Oh, that's really not worth anything. <laughs> yep, I'll take the 10. Uh, sure, if you want the screws, you can have them. You can get those ancient screws and springs and stuff like that. You can get them, like, in any Guardian battle anywhere. Yep, 30. Okay. Ah, uh, you can have the shaft. You can have... Yeah, sure, that. You can have my five flint. Uh, you can have... Sure. The horn. Ooh, 718 now. You can have the... Talon. Have the spring. Oh my god, I'm selling everything I have. The red tail. The regular tail. Ooh. You can... I think that's it. That's all... I mean... I have that's worth anything. I don't think it'll be enough to buy two pieces of armor. But it should definitely cover one, and that's all we need right now. Yeah, I don't want to sell my elixirs. Thank you. Ooh. Okay. Goodbye. So, this is 600. This is... Oh my god. Yeah, we, we can't afford two pieces. Anyway, guys, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. So, when I put it on, as you can see, you have two lines near the fire protection. And this will only cover the first one. So, now we have two, but the potion will wear off. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.